The torque roll is another 3D maneuver that everybody seems to want to be uh, involved with or want to learn to do. Okay. One of the ways that I enter it, and I found out that it's easier, at least for, for me to enter it this direction, is to be able to come into a, into a Harrier configuration where you got a high alpha pass, okay, and you steer it around the rudder, get it in a situated where you want to get it in place. You add a little throttle, a little more elevator and rudder to get it stationary, and once it gets stopped, then you just do minor little inputs to hold it there in that position. Okay, you see right there. Once it gets uh, somewhat vertical, it almost becomes stable. And if you look at my stick inputs, there's not very, very much going on. Okay, you just do just enough to hold it there. If your airplane drifts around. That's okay initially until you get it comfortable with it and uh, figure out what it takes to move it around the field. Okay, I'm going to put it back into a little bit of a Harrier and bring it back over here a little bit closer so we can see what it's doing. Okay, now when it gets gets to this point, you add a little bit of throttle, a little bit of elevator, and pull the nose up and get it stopped. Okay, now the natural rotation of the engine will will get the airplane to torque. Now you can see I've got a lot of right aileron in it right there to hold it in position to keep it from torquing. Okay, if I were to relax that aileron and just use the rudder and elevator, the airplane will obviously, as you can see right there, it starts to rotate around on its own. Okay, now the one of the easiest things that I have found to tell everybody to do is if you can imagine the airplane sitting in a glass, uh, like, a, like in a drinking glass, you want to get it in position and hold it right in the middle of that glass like I've got right there and try to keep the wing tips or anything from touching the edge of the glass. Okay, just imagine the airplane sitting in a glass jar or a drinking glass or whatever and you just do minor little inputs to hold it in position. Like, see there's a little up elevator right there to hold it. Okay, the airplane's going to rotate, you add a little down, a little bit of right, and just hold it, just, just minor little inputs. If you get yourself in a situation where you start adding a whole bunch of control surfaces, or, you know, moving the things around like I'm exaggerating right here, you end up having uh, to create more work for yourself. So once you get it stabilized and get the things centered, it's a lot easier just to let it go on its own. You just make minor corrections to, uh, minor inputs to correct it to hold it in position. And just making very, very little inputs. And I, I wouldn't suggest doing this real low, low to the ground initially because of uh, just the lack of altitude to be able to get yourself out of position. So uh, the only reason I'm doing it this low is uh, so that you got a ground reference so you can see angles of the airplane and you see attitudes of what it's actually doing. And that's the torque roll.